Hey everybody, it's Savage Agent. Welcome back to my playthrough of Tales of Berseria. In the last episode, we had some tough revelations for Velvet. She's kind of lost her shit, to be honest with you. And uh, now we're in an Earth Pulse Point. I think it's all pretty justified. In this episode, we're going to continue walking through here, and hopefully, we can get some actual answers about Ignomi Not. Did everything to me, but I couldn't do anything. Ten years? My wings are weak. It, it doesn't matter anymore. I see. If you've been working that hard, you surely need a break. I just happened to get my hands on some prickle boar meat. I'll be cooking up a stew for dinner. But would you care to join me? No, I... All I have on me now is this apple. Here. Once your belly is full of warm food, you'll be able to pick yourself back up. I can feel it. Your body is shouting, I want to live. I'm a disgrace. I don't deserve to live. Is life something you have to earn? To deserve? Well... These feelings are natural. You eat when you're hungry and cry when you're sad. Feeling these things is proof that we're alive. Alive? What's your name? Mine is Selica. Selica Crow. I'm an exorcist. Artoria. No, Arthur. I'm Arthur. Artorias! <sighs> what in the world was that? You saw it too, then? Sure did. Artorius. And he called himself Arthur. I've heard of this. The Earth and Historia. They say that events on the world's surface cast imprints on the Earth Pulse that runs below. In other words, an illusion of the past. It's not an illusion. That was my sister. So... You managed to fool her too, is it? Yes. Yes, that must be it. That's why she freed me from the prison. Rokuro, have you recovered from your wounds? Yep. Tough as nails. That's old Rokuro. I'm more worried about Velvet. Is she okay? Uh, how could she be okay? Inominat is reborn. And it's her little brother. A blade can't just be hard. It's got to be flexible, or it'll snap the first time it meets an unexpected force. I misunderstood the true meaning of strength, and so did he. Let's just worry about ourselves for now. This Earth Pulse is completely under Inominat's domain. We can think of it as an extension of his body. Yeah, which means my power won't get us out of here. Be wary. Inominat may be the one showing us these memories. Remember, he's after Velvet. And the two types of malevolence inside her. True. And we may be able to use that against him to get us out of here. What are you saying? Just use her? If it's necessary. We have to keep moving. Nothing will be gained by staying here. And we ought to look for Magilu. Even she doesn't deserve to be stuck here forever. Yeah, Magilu, 
I, I've said this before, but Mogilu turns out to be one of my favorite characters. Now we have a full party, well, semi-full party. We don't have Mogilu, but we have pretty much everybody else, so I don't feel too bad about getting experience now. I mean, I didn't feel too bad to, to begin with, but I feel less bad <laughs> than I did just moments ago. For the same reason, really. Okie doke. Haha. <laughs> Kick you in the face. Get you a nice kick to the face. Nice. We love that. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I got hell themed in my tummy. No, yeah, we were good. Ooh, mastered some things, though, for the girls. You got the runner's high mastered. Nice. You still don't have the cast heels mastered. So we'll go ahead and do that for you, Velvet. And then for you, you got the garish pink shirt. Now you're on the Mephible. We love that. We want to go get this chest over here, especially because it's silver. Maybe it will be something useful for us in the silver category. Silver. Legless ring, eh? Just another ring to the docket. We have a million of those. So it's fine. Might as well fight this Hell 82. I mean, you're here. Might as well kill you. That's the way I see it, at least. Haha. <laughs> Murder, murder. Velvet wants to be the one to kill this thing to get the boost. Nice. Zero impact. Nice. Excuse me, lady. How dare you do that to Velvet? She won't be having it. Nice. Easy. Good job. Fee is out here doing the mostest. Alright, I think this is the way we need to go. At least I believe it to be. Sorry, armor guy. You were too uh, headless to notice me. And I took full advantage of that. So, what is this Earth and Historia you mentioned? As I've said, an Earth pulse is a natural force that circulates within the land. Wind blows, water flows, birds fly, flowers bloom. All actions in nature leave their mark on the Earth Pulse. These marks become etched within the land itself, and remain a part of the Earth Pulse, like memories. So it's a record of the world's past. Does it remember human and Moloch deeds? Everything that occurs is part of nature, including the acts of humans, Molochim, and even demons. So that means that even this very conversation is being recorded in the Earth and Historia? Anything bad I've done in secret, any insults you've ever told behind someone's back, the land sees it all. My insults? It's just an example. Pay it no mind. Does that mean that Inominat is drawing specific memories from the Earth and Historia and showing them to Velvet? I believe so. That's how Rokuro and I saw the same thing, even though we weren't there. With the Earth itself as his vessel. It's a trick only Inomina could pull off. Awfully devious for a self-styled Empyrean. But the attack did strike home. Keep a close watch on her until we're out of the Earth Pulse. Right. Yeah, they're obviously uh, messing with her mind. It's pretty fucked up. Let's go ahead and get these guys. Theroni eyes undead. Nice. Because especially when it's lunar surface, yeah, she can hit a bunch of them. Group them all together. We love it. Murder, murder, murder. Wow, that was pretty easy. You sure did, Laffy said. Bad, badass. Velvet Psyche took a heavy blow there. Yes. She's in rough shape. How long do you think she'll last? What do you mean? Just what I said. Remember, hardness alone won't save you from breaking. If she keeps being shaken up like this, she won't be able to handle it. But what can we do? If she breaks, she breaks. Until then, we go on with our mission. What? Can't we help her? If you let sympathy fog your vision, you can end up crashed on a reef. Even so, we can't just let her suffer. It's too much. I'm fairly sure that Velvet would say the same thing if she was in Aizen's place. And do you agree, Rokuro? Me? I still have a debt to Velvet. I will pay it. 
But in the end, her fate will be something she'll have to decide for herself. That's true, but... Then I have a decision of my own to make. I won't give up on Velvet, no matter what. I see. Do what you have to. We won't stop you. Hmm. <laughs> good for Fee. Fee's a good person, deep down. I mean, not even deep down. You don't have to dig that deep. He's just a good fucking person. You can kind of see it in everything he does. Ugh, why are you so much faster than me, Hell Lady? There we go. Horn with you. There. Ha <laughs> ha. Stupid ass Hell Lady. You're going to get taught today. Now Velvet's going to show you what it's like to get murked. Oh, yeah. We're in the 30s with you now. Nice. Got all the way up to 40 with her before she died. Keep the streak going. Everybody dies in a combo today. Nice. I'll cut down anyone in my way. As always. Let's keep going, Velvet. Let's dodge this one. I don't want to hit every single one, but if I can get most of them, I'll feel pretty good about myself. Alright. Now you can see why I had to split this one into two separate episodes, because hoo -hoo -hoo, this is a long area. Nice. Eat them all. Eat them all, Velvet. Murder, murder, murder. Now we have to fight all these things all over again. Nice. Hey, is everyone all right? Sure. For the most part, we're all right. Let's go right first. Since we're all right. <laughs> Figured you guys would like that pun. Maybe not, though. Oh, this one's for a chest. Nice. Uh, take what I can and abandon the rest. Sure. Alright, now we can head down this way. Yeah, that's why in here you can't let the chest counts get you too too much. Because uh, you'll warp around and find them later. Most likely. But there's probably a chest down this way, right? No, what the heck? I'm just out here waiting for the chest to be in a weird spot like that. I mean, this one makes sense. Obviously, I'll go over there and get that one. But, like, what the heck, you know? And uh, we can abandon that one. That's fine. And let's do this one. Is the chest around? Oh, God, no. But they'll put enemies right on top of me, but no chest. That's pretty messed up. Oh, God, that hell lady is so quick. You're the worst. Why are you so fast, eh? Alright, if I can just get, like, ahead of these people a little bit. Just a tad, at least. Come on, there we go. Now I can consume and claw. Now I can actually do things. Boom, there we go. Let's get taken off now. Got another one on ya. Perfect. Oh, I was gonna eat him. Good job, Fee. Ooh, my expedition. Let's see. Anything new? Nope, we're still missing one special there, so we gotta get it. Alright, we'll move down this way. Hi, Selica. I fixed the fence around the house. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. With the brigands stepping up their attacks, the town elders have been worried. But this should put their minds at ease. No. If the brigands turn into demons, a mere fence won't stop them. Hmm? Huh? Nothing. Don't worry about it. I'm pretty confident in my carpentry. And the other two? Probably at the Cape again. I've warned them a hundred times that it's dangerous. Luffy said probably badgered Velvet into going. Don't worry, she'll watch out for him. 
Yeah, I can only hope that this little one grows up to be as strong as she is one day. Huh? You're happy, I hope. Of course I am. I, I never thought I could ever be this happy. I... <laughs> I, I only wish I'd known earlier. I would have made something even nicer for you. Oh, you made this for me? Yeah. I put all my heart into it. I'll cherish it always. It'll remind me of this happy day. Let this serve as proof of our love. This I swear. I swear to protect you both with my life. That's Lord Artorius's past. <laughs> It's all a pack of lies. His smile. His promise. Everything. his lies without questioning a word what a joke poor velvet her psyche is taking a hit what we just saw was that from before the opening yeah Celica was there and artorius still had use of his arm it didn't look like he was an exorcist either i never would have thought lord artorius could smile so tenderly but he's since become an exorcist taking on the mantle of shepherd and the weight of the world all because he lost his beloved wife I'd understand if you wanted to back out, but at this rate, I think the time is coming. Not much longer now. It's coming. All right. Well, with that heavy weight, let's continue. Yeah, it's hard to see, you know, Artorius, who is our biggest adversary and you know, the villain of the game, essentially, um, seducing and, you know, impregnating S Velvet's sister. Like, at the time, that was such a happy thing, I'm sure, but now, now it's been tainted. And so, of course, that's going to mess with her psyche a lot. Alright, let's go ahead and murder, murder, murder all of them. Nice. Let's see what we can get off of these guys. Get them. Nice. Alright, you're the only other one over here, right? You're the one that's been casting spells and trying to save them and doing some fuck shit. I get you. We're finished here. Let's go. Hell yeah. Alright, what's this? Oh, I can't take those. Sorry. We've got too much already. Let's run up here and around, and I'm pretty sure that green spot. Oh. Didn't oh. know those things about Artorius and Celica, did she? Probably not. That was when the two were alone and first getting to know each other. We were seeing glimpses of a warm, loving family, but really, it just gave me the creeps. Same here. I could keenly feel Inomi not scheming behind everything we saw. He's trying to get at Velvet. I think she used to truly love Lord Artorius. Having that happy past thrust in front of her at a time like this must be tearing her apart. Probably, but a demon like me wouldn't understand. 
what Velvet is going through is horrible. Even as a human, I can scarcely imagine what it must be like. But I approach it, just a little bit, because like her, I was his pupil. Artorias said he needed two types of malevolence to awaken an Ominat. The illusions at a ball, making sure we knew about the attack on Titania, and Inominat appearing as her brother. If all of that was planned to extract the malevolence from her, we'd all better brace for worse to come. Yeah, that's probably just the beginning of their plans, and they're obviously um, pretty sick and twisted that they can come up with some good plans to really wrench uh, Velvet's heart. I think that's what... Uh, what the aim is here, and poor Velvet Psyche is taking a hit. The Scarlet Knight? This is Velvet's village. Damn! So many of them! It's too late! Take Velvet and Lobby Set and run! I can't do that! I want to have my life with you! With our child! Couldn't I? Why couldn't I protect my own family? Remember this moment well, Artorius. Humans are weak, filled with sin. Mokio. The people of this village offered you and your beloved family up to the demon brigands. A sacrifice, so that they could escape and hide. No, they wouldn't. It happens often. The reason people act on is burdened by the weight of their sins. However... I have found a method to adjust. Their reason. A domain? What is this incredible power? Don't tell me the Empyrean we've been searching for was here this whole time. These Molochim. So they have been reborn. But be not deceived. They are not the same people you knew. Why? Why must fate be so cruel? Oh. It appears that Inominat's resurrection is incomplete. We must guide him until we understand why. I'll be taking these Malakim. Wait! I 
I'm sorry I couldn't keep my promise. I'll make things right. I'll abandon who I am. Nameless Moloch. I will forge a pact with you. I will put an end to all the pain in this world. Do you have it in you? You who abandoned my friend's ideals and fled. On the souls of my dead master, wife, and child, this I swear. My name is Artorius Colbrand. I have inherited the will and the strength of Claude in Asgard, former head of the Exorcists. Very well. Let tonight's tragedy change fate and birth salvation. That Malik, it was me. You don't remember? Not at all. They said you were reborn as a Malak. That means. What exactly? The soul of a human who passed away can, given the right trigger, be reborn as a Moloch. You're saying that Artorius's child was reborn as Lafayette? If what we saw was real, yes. <laughs> uh, so the female Moloch that was born along with him was... My sister's reincarnation. But I ate her long ago. You... you didn't know, right? I knew. I had already caught on to who Ceres really was. Velvet. But it doesn't matter. What does it change? I'll devour anything to fulfill my goal. My sister. My brother. Even the world. That's who I am. That's all I am. Yeah, I mean, she had a feeling she knew who Ceres was, and, well, she was right. It was her sister. But the biggest twist there is that Lafi said is actually, our fee is Artorius' unborn son. That's just pretty dark. Let's get this chest up here. Ooh, some Panacea bottles. Thank you. That was the day all of this started, wasn't it? Yeah, the opening. Inomilat was halfway revived and demons became visible to all. His power also robbed almost every Moloch of their free will that day. I never imagined that Lord Artorius' quest to change the world was so steeped in tragedy. The villagers should have never sold them out to those bandits. It was cruel, yes, but nothing remarkable. People are capable of anything when under pressure. Even more so when they can do it under the mantle of the greater good. Velvet's family was probably the furthest outside the village circle that night. That's pure selfishness. Humans are selfish creatures. You should be aware of that by now. That's why you said what you said just now, even if you didn't know it. Artorius's quest to change the world, not Artorius's quest to save humanity. Uh, I... I mean no disrespect. It's just an observation. A man with the power to change the world turned his back on the potential of humanity. That may be the biggest tragedy of that night. The savior of the world lost all hope in its people. Yeah, so that's, I mean, <laughs> that's going to affect some things. As you can clearly see. At least we're learning Artorius' motivations a little bit more. I mean, he was, he was betrayed. Just like Velvet's been betrayed. Well, in the next episode, we will continue on through this Earth Pulse point and try to figure out what the hell is going on. But we learned Fee's uh, true identity, and that's huge. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Tales of Berseria. Make sure to smash that like button for me if you have not already seen more content like this. Subscribe to the channel. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.